Hey dudes, welcome to my living room. I'm Chris Catron, Director of Caledonian Conservation, an ecological consultancy based in Scotland, and I'm also an area organiser for the British Arachnological Society Spider Recording Scheme. As we know, wildlife fieldwork can't continue just now for good reasons, so I've been looking at the spiders and other invertebrates that live in and around my garden, and today, in my house. You'll be amazed at the number of spiders that live in your house, the different kinds, they're really cool. And you can look for them in any weather. If it's raining outside, look for spiders inside. There's always spiders to be found. And we are going to use a really exciting piece of equipment today. This tuning fork. It's so much fun. So come on guys, I invite you into my house on a spider hunt. What's this on top of my kitchen bug box? That's right. It's a clubiona. Ooh, spider in the kitchen ceiling. Ah, got it in the end. So this is a running crab spider. It's really cool. They have these little hairs on their legs called scopulae that give them really great grip. They usually hunt outside on trees. This one's a boy you can see from the swollen palps, the boxing gloves on his arms. Philodromus, awesome find. All right, dudes, the moment has come. We are going to use a tuning fork. Dudes, welcome to my shed. There's loads of evidence of spiders in here. So there's sheet webs made by Tegenaria or Atagina spiders, so like house spiders. There's blue fluffy silk made by Amarobius spiders. They have a special organ called the crebellum, which makes the special silk. So there's loads of opportunity to use the tuning fork. Check that fluffy blue silk. That is cribblet silk, and what do we have? Yep, those wee legs poking out. Someone's home. See if we can get them to come out. A bit more encouragement. Yes, there we go. Look at that gorgeous wee amarobius spider. Also known as window lace weavers. Big sheet web now. Yes, look at that. An Aratagina spider, a giant house spider. What a beauty. Kids love tuning forks, by the way. Here's my six year old son luring out a giant house spider. Dudes. I've just found something so exciting. It's just gone past midnight. This is my bathroom. And I've found a pink prowler, Uenops domesticus. These spiders are tiny, only a few millimetres long, and they're beautiful pink. In my experience, they tend to come out between midnight and two in the morning, not the sort of time people tend to be looking. And they have this wonderful motion where they just kind of go along and then go and then along. They're just absolutely wonderful. Very much under-recorded, probably because of the time of the night that they're out. Let's take a closer look. Uenops domesticus, the pink prowler, is very similar to another spider, Uenops pulcher, the four-spine prowler. The difference is in the name of the second species. Uenops pulcher has got four pairs of spines on its tibiae, that's parts of its legs, whereas Uenops domesticus has got five pairs of spines. Now, why Uenops domesticus gets a cool name, like the pink prowler? whereas Uenops pulcher is called the four-spine prowler. I don't really know, because pulcher in Latin means beautiful, so surely Uenops pulcher should be the beautiful prowler. In any case, they're both really cool spiders, and they have six eyes rather than eight, so the pink prowler is the first six-eyed spider that I have found during my garden and home spider survey. Thank you for joining me in my home spider hunt, dudes. I hope you enjoyed it. It was great to finally get the tuning fork out and get that into action. And we also found a whole bunch of really interesting spiders. We found a couple of species you'd expect to find in and around houses, such as the Tegenaria or Ratagina spiders, the house spiders. Now, the males in those leave their webs in autumn when they reach maturity, when they're usually quite large and leggy. And that's when you get them running around your living room. So hopefully we'll see that later in the year. We also found Amarobius, so lace weavers. They're the ones that make that blue fluffy silk using that special organ, the crebellum. It'll probably be Amarobius fenestralis or similis because both of those species do commonly occur in and around houses in Scotland, but we can't confirm without checking genitals, which we didn't do today. 
we also found some more interesting species like Uenops domesticus, the pink prowler. I'm always so excited to find that species. It's just gorgeous. It's so pretty and it's full of character. So I'm really chuffed to have found that one. We also found a running crab spider in my kitchen. Again, we need to check genitals to confirm species, but that's an unusual find for a kitchen, probably coming from outside. So a nice one. And of course, we also had the terrestrial sack spider, Clubiona terrestris, turning up in my kitchen as well, on top of my bug boxes that I use to dispose of kitchen waste. I've got a whole bunch of exotic bugs in there, which are really fun. Anyway, that's us for today. Hope you had fun. This is something that hopefully you guys can do in around your houses with a tuning fork if you have one. Electric toothbrushes work too, or just picking stuff up and looking for spiders. Let me know what you find, and until next time, see you later dudes!